teaching the focus, you know, he's an instrumental in really just softening it to life. So with that, I'd just like to thank everybody in the gallery also, and the dancers. Hi, hi. Thank you. Hi, hi. Mr. Gare, he said, I see your good and we go. Everything else is on the way. Ah, this is the way. We have some money. You know, this is the way. We have some money. 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 I want to thank Chief Alexis for inviting me and his council and the membership of uh, Alexis here. And I want to thank him for giving me the opportunity to work with him throughout the year when he was Grand Chief as well as Chief Lagrell. I know as a Grand Chief that we put a lot of pressure on, on him. I've been there twice and I know Sometimes we neglect our people back home, but we all think, have to think about the people in Treaty 6 area. And I know today is a very special day for all of us to see something special. That a lot of our people live in a city that have nothing. And this is why we want to see something happening. And I'm really honored to have Mayor Mandel working with us to sign this document, that he believes in us. We all see what happens in Calgary Stampede, where the First Nations are really honored. We want to see that at capital X, that our people be honored. And this is why this is very special. And I think Mayor Mandel is going to do that for us. And it was a very humbling times when we met with him, along with Chief Alexis. And it's, and at the same time, I'm really honored for our chief from AFN to be here. I know he put me down at my power. He didn't want to come. So now he has to twist my arm to uh, vote for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but just to look back at what he done for First Nations right across Canada, He's the first chief that ever got a prime minister to sit down with the chiefs right across Canada. And that's something that's very special for us. And this is very something, something very special for him as well. And I think and hope that the Creator blesses him and all of you here. And I want to thank you again. And I first want to thank the chief who done a very good job throughout the year. I know we have a new grand chief now, Chief Marvin Yellowbird who's been really newly elected just the other day here. And we have to give him all the full support from all of us. I know it's getting tougher and harder with the federal government and the provincial government, but this is the only way we can do things mm -hmm. to sign MOUs with them. Thank you very much. I have. Speaking a little uh, foreign language of the New Tunnel people in my language. Treaty 6. What's up, people of Treaty 6? <laughs> That's the translation. <laughs> I come from a little village of a house west coast of Vancouver Island, a little fishing village, as far west as you can go, 
Next stop, Japan. <laughs> we know we're connected because you knew that horrible tsunami. We even have things now coming on our beaches. This tells us that we're connected. In my language, how connected we are. I was explaining to some earlier that even as a little boy, I heard about the famous people of Treaty 6, about what your ancestors had done. Outgoing Grand Chief, Chief Alexis, Vice Chief, you come from a proud, a strong people with a proud and strong heritage. It is my privilege to be here amongst all of you. Chief Mukokas, to all of the dignitaries that are here, and even former National Chief Ovid Mercury, I think he's I think he's training for the senior PGA golf tour. <laughs> I think they're going to be calling up him up soon. And I'm honored to be here, Mayor, to witness what it is that you and the Chiefs are doing. People of Treaty 6, this is what the ancestors had in mind when they did ceremony, when they forged a powerful treaty that even I learned about in my little village from my elders. They told me about your treaty, about the strong focus that was there for our people's health things that we're still struggling today. I was speaking, Chief, with one of your young ones here. His name is Grace, and I just met him. I've never met him before. He's in grade four and mayor. It struck me. I asked little Grayson, said, what do you want to do when you get older? He wants to be a photographer. He wants to travel the world. He wants to use video cameras. He told me about swimming in your waters here, and I was listening to the invocation, click, go, it's so, net, net, so. For your spiritual leaders, the drum, for the invocation in prayer about the sacredness of prayer. I was listening to Grace and talk about going into those beautiful waters, and I know, Chief, of you and your fellow Chiefs, Vice Chief, the vision that you have to support the people to have an economy and jobs, but while doing that, to take care of those pristine waters. I want to thank and commend you, and thank you too for coming together, because the people who are in the cities, those are our relatives. Adam Norpeg is one of the flag bearers here. And if it wasn't for the Friendship Centers when I was a kid, I'm not sure I'd be standing before you. It was the Friendship Centers that kept me out of trouble, kept me off the streets, and allowed me to teach break dancing, which I'm too old, I will not teach that any longer. <laughs> it has been a great privilege, Chiefs, people of Treaty 6, all of your relatives, to have served as National Chief, having learned so much. Chief Alexis, it's been more than once that I've heard men in your territory say that you come from a place where the trees are small but the men are tall. <laughs> well, I come from a place where the trees are very, very tall on the west coast. West coast of Vancouver Island, but maybe not the men. Maybe the men are not so tall. <laughs> this is how all time. What you're doing here, dancers, singers, people of Treaty 6 and Alexis, you're showing the ancestors who are very happy that we come from a terrible, terrible history. But we as First Nations are on the comeback trail. Grayson's going to help us lead us there. Let go, let go. Thank you for having me. Hi, hi. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge all the elders that are here today. Um, and thank Grand Chief uh, Cameron Alexis for his vision, Vice Chief Miguel, and uh, my good friend Chief Makokas. Welcome, Sean, to you. Uh, your job is amazing, leading um, the Chiefs uh, across across Canada. Um, I'm, I don't envy your work, as you're saying. You've been traveling day in and day out, and you've shown some amazing leadership, especially getting the Prime Minister to sit down. The world is changing, and uh, the city of Edmonton is very proud to be a place where many, many First Nations people call home. The time has come for um, a partnership to be created between the Treaty 6 chiefs and nations in the city of Edmonton so we can work together to build a kind of place that's open, fair, and equitable for all peoples. I think in the past we might not be able to say that. I think in the future we need to say that. Mm -hmm. And so this is a very important moment for the city of Edmonton because we do value very much the history, the tradition, the importance of our First Nation people. You are Canada. You, are make, you make us what we are today. And I think it's vitally important that we have agreements, that we work together to try to build a stronger relationship, that opportunities is everywhere for all peoples. And as I'm here at this amazing uh, powwow, I, I, I see the incredible tradition, the beauty, the pageantry, but I also see 
little children who are going to grow up. We want them to grow up with great success and great opportunity. And together we can do that. And so I hope that today's signing marks the beginning of a long and fruitful partnership of building a better place for everyone. And in the past, I have to say that uh, Edmonton has not done the kind of job it should be doing in order to welcome people to its city. And I acknowledge that today, and hope we will do better. We must do better. And I think many of the people who live in Edmonton have stated that in the past, and it's unacceptable. That's unacceptable that people in our city don't feel at home. And we need to do a better job, and this is a start. But we need your help. We need the Chief's help to help us learn the better ways to treat the people and so they feel comfortable in our home and their home. And so I'm truly honored to sign this today, and I thank you very much for the tremendous honor. And um, it is of great meaning to me and my city council who unanimously supported this. And uh, we thank you very much for the honor of being able to sign this amongst this incredible event, this incredible group of people, and this marvelous, marvelous place of future. Thank you. There's one thing I forgot to ask uh, Mayor Mandel, and I know I'm going to get the support from the BB6 chiefs and also the membership, if we can hang a flag in Edmonton, the BB6 flag. Absolutely. Thank you very much.